name is Vince Roig, and I'm the founding chairman of the Helios Education Foundation. Helios is about improving education. This building is here as a demonstration that Helios will be here tomorrow. It's also here as a gift to the community. So we have a partnership with the student, the school, the parent, anything that's directly involved in education. If you look throughout the building, the pieces have been designed to depict indigenous individuals, ethnicities, all with an eye towards equity, diversity, inclusion, all of these goals that Helios has at its very core. So every place that you look, the art, you might say it's beautiful, but it really is intentional to tell you that it's because you belong and that this is home for you. My name is Paul Luna. I'm the president and CEO of Helios Education Foundation. We are driven at Helios by a fundamental mission that we want every student in Arizona and Florida to be successful in post-secondary education. So as we were thinking about how we would actually integrate art into the campus, what we knew is we wanted to engage intentionally and authentically with local artists. And in partnering with Maximo, it really gave us an opportunity to share our vision for the campus and show them what the campus design was going to look like and quite frankly get their perspective, get their voice into that conversation. When talking with Joe and Chris, what we recognized I thought was really interesting is that when you think about Arizona and the Southwest, one of the unique elements of the history of this place is that it was always a place where trade routes would come together, cultures coming together, different perspectives from different parts of the regions, and ideas get shared. Two different viewpoints or perspective can come together to create a better viewpoint and maybe a grander vision. This was gonna be a way with which we at the Helios Education Campus could really celebrate that history, that through art we can provide inspiration and creativity. We can almost challenge you as an individual to come here and say, yeah, we're here to improve education for every student in Arizona, but look at the brilliance of this artwork and can that not also inspire us maybe to think differently or to partner differently, exchanging through culture that we can actually make those types of grand ideas come to fruition. I'm Joe Ray. I'm a visual artist based in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm a painter, printmaker, as well as a sculptor. As part of Maximo Branding, I curated the artwork for the Helios Education Foundation campus. Also, I collaborated with Rosemary Lone Wolf on the Gathering Towers, which is one of the signature sculptures on the campus. The southwestern U.S. has always been a series of trade routes. For centuries, people have always migrated through this region, and where two people or two ideas would meet, a third would emerge. And that, we found, is something that would be great inspiration for artists. My main hope is that when people see the art, is that they see this as a place where ideas and inspiration come together. You'll hear from these artists who created these signature sculptures, as well as their commitment to these ideals through their artwork. My name is Fausto Fernandez. I'm an artist. I designed a sculpture outside of the Helios Educational Foundation. The artwork at Helios is inspired by the Arizona trade routes, the ideas of creativity, and the Arizona minerals, which is in all the ceramic tile colors in my work. All the ideas came out to be uh, one big scribble. And a lot of my work has a lot of scribbles, so I feel that scribbling is really the beginning of creativity. When I thought about Helios, I thought, oh, this is an educational foundation. It's like the perfect timing for me to use the scribble. I wanted the piece to feel like it was made by a community. When I bought all the ceramic tile, it was a lot of work breaking out thousands of pieces, and I thought it would be a good idea to include the students of the new School of Arts and Academics, which are students of Killian Manning. And I had about 15 to 20 students help me break tile and assemble it and put it on the floor. We have like goggles and we had like gloves and we had hammers. I think that kind of makes it more exciting because we're like in a shop. In a way, we all kind of have these crazy ideas that we always like to break stuff for fun and I feel like that's what we were doing all of us together. As you're walking by Helios, I want people to notice this kind of odd, strange movement, kind of uh, enlightenment, fun and inspired by community. 
My name is Keelan Maney and I am a public artist. This process has been really interesting because a lot of times when I do public art, usually the building's built and then they give you a site and they say, okay, the art's gonna go here. This was the reverse of that process. It was really cool because I got to go to Architecton and do a virtual tour of the building before it was built. And Architecton is like really well known for that, to be able to work with artists and to integrate the artwork into the architecture. So it's really interesting because it does give it this really natural, organic feel. My work is called Trade Route Navigator, and it is birds in a radial pattern that are flying around a circle, and then there's a couple birds kind of flying away. And so the representation of that is the support that Helios gives for educational services, and then the path that people can be able to take after they've experienced these services. And so for me, birds are very personal. They represent my students. I teach and I have these students and they graduate and they go away. I always just think of them as these migrating birds that they'll go away, but eventually we'll kind of reconnect. And that's true of a lot of relationships in our life. I really want people to be able to experience my peace and feel like a calming sense, know that the work that they're doing at Helios is really contributing to a whole in our community and really helping people's lives. I'm John Tomisto Bell. I'm a sculptor slash artist, and I've been casting bronze for the past 30 years. I did some traveling in Japan, and I was really intrigued by the Japanese culture and struck up a project that I worked with some Japanese school kids. The ideas behind the piece for Helios came from kind of those travels. When I say I just produced the piece myself, I don't think I could have done it without the collaboration of traveling somewhere else, interacting with a different culture, people that have different foundations and systems in place that are not mine. So the piece that I produce for the Helios Foundation is called Peace, Expanding in Space. A thousand bronze cranes cast and then hang in a chandelier type formation. Then at the very bottom of it, I have a series of crystals that have different meanings in different cultures because the viewer can walk under this piece and then look up through. Really, I think does kind of spark that interest of the different integration, people coming together with their ideas. And different ideas will spark different creativity, different moral and ethical value systems. That right there, I think, was intriguing me as an artist to think about what to make for the Helios Foundation and to engage myself in those ideas. My goal as an artist is to hopefully produce something that intrigues someone that wants to come in and see it and really are intrigued to ask those important questions. Hi, I'm Rosemary Lone Wolf and I'm an artist from Santa Clara Pueblo. I work primarily in clay, but I've also worked in everything from bronze, my native clay pots, to designing bridges. The campus was going to be a place where people could come and exchange these ideas. It was just going to be an interaction and the piece is titled Gathering Towers. I think as far as the idea goes, like that was introduced by Joe. This project was a true collaboration, which is very much like what Helios does in bringing ideas together, sort of bring them together and a third would emerge and it would be an improvement on it and we'd problem solve. And in the end, I think the gathering towers serve as a really nice spot where people gather here, but the two flames that serve as a beacon to signal there's something happening here, there's something unique that's going on here. Right, and Come that, and that was part of your contribution, which, you know, again, it brings it all together and tells one whole story. Right, so, exactly, because there's five different stories there, five different elements that honor your ancestors, that honor my ancestors. It comes together and honors the present, but I think in honoring the present, we're also setting precedent for honoring the future. When we as a board, you know, and, and the entire organization embraced the idea that we would make the effort, the intentionality of creating an education canvas where there would be community space for convenings and collaborations, we would hope to be a very open, welcoming environment for anyone who cares about improving education in our state. They will walk away and say, that was a special place. My voice, my perspective was valued and heard. That's a place I want to go back to because that's where meaningful change will happen. We hope that people will feel that 
this is as much their space as it is that of Helios because that is by definition what we mean by creating a community campus. We hope that this campus will help inspire the state of Arizona to improve our educational outcomes for every student and that we've created a special place where everyone can come and roll up their sleeves and work together to make that happen.